after each winter comes spring but right now the best we can do is just romanticize our lives as much as we can during the season and try to find those little glimmers of magic in our days see winter as a season of coziness instead of a season of dread and dark and cold things we can do during winter without feeling guilty for doing them a lot of us get into our hibernation era and i'm definitely guilty of that too the most important thing is that you're being yourself and you're allowed to talk about your hobbies and you're allowed to have hobbies that might make you feel like you're an old grandma and don't be ashamed of that good morning and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here today today i wanted to talk to you about how to romanticize winter and some things i do to make my winter feel magical and to get over that winter blues kind of feeling because i know that a lot of us struggle with that this time of year and with the days being so short and cold it can be so easy to fall into that sort of depression this time of year and i just wanted to tell you a couple of things that i do that combat that and that really help with that feeling of dread oh and before we start i wanted to show you this cute mug that i got it's actually a christmas tree and it has a top as well and it's so cute my mug kind of fits with the first point is to get yourself some new cozy mugs this winter especially during the mornings when i get my coffee or in the evening when i drink my tea and i see these cute little mugs that i have it really makes my days feel so much more special they don't even have to be new they can be secondhand but anything that represents winter winter or maybe Christmas time in a mug I think is such a great way to romanticize this season. Number two would be to read books that are set during winter or during Christmas. I wanted to show you the book that I'm reading right now. It's definitely more of like a little bit of a cheesy Hallmark-ish movie but it's the Christmas tree farm. I love it until now. It's one of the books I'm reading because I want to romanticize the season as much as I can. So any book that is set during winter or during Christmas time really, really helps. I have another book here, which I would absolutely recommend to you if you like kind of these cozy Hallmark-ish books. And that is A Cat Cafe Christmas. And what I love about this book is that it's so cozy. And if I'm being completely honest, after I read this one, I made a whole Pinterest board of my dream cat cafe. <laughs> because I got in the mood for opening my own cat cafe and I was like, oh, what would I make it look like? And how many cats would I adopt to put in the cafe? So if you are someone like me and dreams about having either a little bookshop or a little cat cafe, this book makes you feel like you actually have one. Number two is definitely reading books that are set during Christmas or winter, especially books that really describe that winter feeling or are full with winter activities, snow or twinkly lights or Christmas trees. And those two are definitely books that have that. So number three is to watch movies that are set during winter or during Christmas. I recently made a blog post with my 10 favorite movies to watch during winter and Christmas time and honestly a lot of those are just must watch movies for this time of year in my opinion so I will link that list down below for you to read through it if you need some inspirations for the movies to watch number one would be Love Actually that's a movie I watch every single year then the next one would be even more obvious I think The Holiday and that is my absolute favorite movie to watch during this season actually no there are a couple of movies that I like more than The Holiday even but The Holiday is definitely a must watch movie to watch this season to really just get over those winter blues what i like about the holiday is that it's not just about christmas it's about the season and yeah there are a couple of movies that are like that and they're all in my list so i will link the list down below for you to read number four would be to of course decorate your house that doesn't have to be for Christmas, but what I found is that when I put fairy lights all around the house, wherever I can, maybe on the windows, or like put up fairy light trees in corners of the house, it really romanticizes those long evenings at home and it makes it feel so much more cozy and inviting and I just love the way fairy lights make me feel. So that is another thing to do to really get over that winter blues feeling that so many of us get during those long evenings and just romanticize that 
cozy time spent at home. Number five would be to do winter outdoor activities. And there are so many more activities you could do besides skiing or snowboarding. I know that not all of us are able to do that where we live, but there are things like, for example, going ice skating or just going for winter walks in the woods or just in the city, wherever you live, taking your favorite cozy drink with you and just taking sips of it during your walk and just enjoying the cold air while you sip on a warm beverage that feeling is so cozy another thing you could do is go outside during the evening take an evening walk and look at the stars winter is one of the best season to look at the stars especially when it's cold out and when there are no clouds in the sky the stars are so beautiful and so visible you could just wrap yourself in a cozy coat put on a scarf and just look up at the stars and be grateful for the beauty of the stars. Another outdoor activity you could do, especially when you have a yard, is to make a bonfire in the yard when it's cold and roast some marshmallows and just warm up in front of the fire. That's definitely something I wanna do this season. And I'm already looking into getting equipment to make a bonfire in the yard and just roast some marshmallows and just be cozy in the yard. So that's another thing you could do. Gosh, this mug is getting very heavy. I'm gonna put it to the side. Some more activities that don't necessarily require you to be outside is anything that we don't necessarily allow ourselves to do during summer is things we can do during winter without feeling guilty for doing them. During summer, most of us feel like we need to enjoy the weather while it lasts, be outside as much as possible. But in winter time, you don't need to feel guilty about spending a day at the movies and that is something you could do to just try to romanticize winter is going to the movies or maybe to a play or to a musical if there's musicals where you live when yori still lived in london we would go to musicals almost every weekend during winter but that's not something we usually did during summer because it's so warm outside you want to spend so much time outside that you don't necessarily want to go to these indoor things another thing you could do is just go to your local coffee shop even when you're just going Going there alone, take a book with you, get a drink, and just start reading and romanticizing that cozy feeling you get from a coffee shop. And it's another thing you wouldn't necessarily do during summer as much as you would during winter, just cozying up in a coffee shop with a book. Of course, you could also go to a bookshop, have a cozy bookshop day, and just grab a bunch of wintry books and start reading them, and then decide which ones you want to buy. And just have a cozy afternoon in a bookstore, for example. Another couple indoor activities to do would be to bake winter slash Christmas cookies, make apple cider or any new warm drink that you haven't made before to just try some new recipes. And maybe when you find a very good recipe, making that into a tradition you make every single year. Which brings me to point number six, which is to start a book club. And that is something I have started doing this year with a couple of my friends. We basically just get together every month, discuss the book we've read the previous month and then discuss which book we're going to read for the next month and I think it's just such a great tradition to have and it brings you closer to your friends because wait I need my hand for my parentheses you have to meet up every month usually when I read I don't really have anyone to talk about my books with but in a book club you really discuss each book you've read and it makes you really think about and analyze the book you've read and I think that's just such a great thing to do especially with books that might be a little bit more deep <laughs> and maybe multifaceted and it makes it so much more fun reading the book because you get to just text them about the book and really just talk about each book that you read especially during the cold and dark days that can be something that really brings you that feeling of looking forward to something and that's why i would really recommend starting a book club if you don't have one yet i often joke about that i'm, I'm like an old lady at heart with old ladies hobbies like reading books like the christmas tree farm or being in a book club you know with the ladies and we make apple cider together and we bake cookies together and we talk about the books we read but honestly I love it. The most important thing is that you're being yourself and no matter what hobbies you have, they're valid and you're allowed to talk about your hobbies and you're allowed to have hobbies that might make you feel like you're an old grandma and I love that for you if you're like that too. Don't be ashamed of that. Having that said, let's move on to point number seven and that is to get some new winter sweaters and that is something that might be a little bit consumeristic, just like 
the point when I said about the mugs, but honestly, I think sometimes getting new things, especially when it's something you absolutely love, can help so much in romanticizing your life. And one of those things is winter slash Christmas sweaters, for me at least. It doesn't have to be new, it could be secondhand or maybe even an old one that you haven't worn in a while that you still love. Just putting on something that represents the season and makes you feel cozy and warm and cute is something that really romanticizes this season and helps in easing those winter blues, I think. I'm just gonna go get my cardigan that I found because I love it so much, it's so cute. I hope I can show you this with one hand. But this is the cardigan I found. It has little gingerbread men, presents, <laughs> Christmas trees. This helps me so much in romanticizing the season, especially during Christmas time, is just wearing Christmassy pullovers and Christmassy cardigans and I just think it looks so cute. Let's move on to point number eight, which is to spend time with your loved ones. And I know that that is important for every season, but I think during winter, a lot of us get into our hibernation era and I'm definitely guilty of that too, of just being in my hibernation era during winter, not really wanting to spend time with a lot of people and just wanting to be alone. But I think that that can oftentimes also contribute to the winter blues when we kind of just exclude ourselves and hibernate on our own. But that's also what makes it so important to get out there a little bit, also during winter, and spend time with our family and friends. We could maybe invite them, have like a cookie baking evening, or a cozy Christmas movie watching evening. And we don't have to meet up and do crazy things with them if you don't feel like it. You could still have a cozy evening, but then maybe with a friend or a family member who you love and just spend time with them in that way. You could maybe have a movie marathon together, bake some cookies together, maybe have a lovely afternoon in the bookshop together. Anything that makes you feel cozy, but still kind of gets you to hang out with some friends and family. Number nine would be to have your own winter traditions and that doesn't have to be anything grand or anything expensive. It can be something like, for example, making the same Christmas cookie recipe every year or making the same hot beverage every year. That can be making your own signature hot chocolate each year or re-watching the Harry Potter movies every year or getting a winter mug every year. Anything that makes you feel excited for winter is good and it doesn't have to be huge or grand. Just anything that you like and makes you feel good can be something that you can make into a tradition. If you have friends or family, you can include those in your traditions as well. It can also be outdoor activities. Like for example, what Yuri and I love to do is we go to Efteling during winter because they have like a like a winter theme going on. And it's kind of like a Dutch Disneyland kind of thing with different fairy tales, but it's something I look forward to every single year and definitely something that really helps me in looking forward to winter and not falling into those winter blues. So anything that you like to do, anything that makes you feel excited for winter, you can make into a tradition to do every single year. Number 10 and the last point I'm going to talk about today is to put on, I am looking at my TV right now because I have one running at the moment, but is to put on a winter slash Christmas ambiance on your TV. And especially if you have a TV that is kind of visible in the living room or maybe in your bedroom, putting on an ambiance that has like the winter theme or like a cozy Christmas atmosphere really can help in getting you in the spirit for this season. You can literally just type in Christmas ambiance or winter ambiance on YouTube and there are so many ambiance videos on YouTube that you could use for free. Put those on your TV and just have them running all day. You can choose to have it with music or without music. And and it really helps in getting that cozy feeling during winter. What I also love to do, and that kind of ties in with the decorating your house point, is to change out my pictures I have hanging on my walls. Right now, I, for example, have a picture hanging of a red Swedish house during the winter months, and it is something that reminds me of Sweden during Christmas. If you watched my last video, you will know why I talk about Sweden during Christmas, but it is something that really warms my heart, especially when the picture has snow on it and we don't necessarily have snow where we live it really gets me into that mood for winter and makes me feel like we have snow even though it's not snowing here and another thing i really love to do is every year i put up my christmas slash winter village and if you've seen my last video which i will be linking somewhere here <laughs> 
<laughs> you will have seen me put up my Christmas village and it's one of my favorite things to romanticize winter. Just all these small things that really add little touches of winter and little touches of whimsy during the season help so much in getting over those winter blues and just romanticizing the season to the fullest. Even if where you live there is no snow or no real winter, these points will hopefully help you in just really romanticizing the season and to see it as an opportunity to be as cozy as you want to be every day instead of dreading the cold, dark winter days, which can be hard sometimes. Before I go and finish decorating the house and putting up the Christmas tree, which I haven't done yet, even though it's mid-December by now. But before I go and do that, I just wanted to remind you that spring is going to come. And even if winter right now is something that really makes you feel horrible and something you dread with every fiber of your being and you feel like nothing you do can help you through that feeling i just wanted to remind you that spring is going to come sooner or later and i send you so much love and understanding and i send you a huge hug after each winter comes spring but right now the best we can do is just romanticize our lives as much as we can during the season and try to find those little glimmers of magic in our days and i hope that these steps were able to help you in seeing winter as an opportunity to be as cozy as possible and to see winter as a season of coziness instead of a season of dread and dark and cold even though that can be hard sometimes but i'm sending you so much love and strength this season and so much warmth and coziness and i hope that you're doing okay if you've watched till now we're gonna go and put up some more decorations and also put up the christmas tree together so i hope you enjoy that as well and i hope that it's gonna give you some coziness during this morning or evening or midday wherever you are and again i wanted to say thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next week
complicated part, finding the right parts to put on the body of the tree. <sighs> okay, before I carry on assembling the tree, which is probably gonna take a while, I'm gonna be turning on my audiobook that I'm listening to at the moment, and it's called Draco Malfoy and the Mortifying Ordeal of Being in Love. And it's a Harry Potter fan fiction between Draco and Hermione. And I'm loving the banter in this book. I'm really enjoying it at the moment. It's actually our book club pick of this month. So I'll be listening to that while I assemble the tree. Granger. Granger studied Luella with one of her analytical looks. If I got every word perfectly weighted on a thin piece of paper, would it make any difference? Would it change for the better if I wrote you a poem, if I posted a letter? down so soft and slow outside my window I watch it go all the lilac snow though the world may seem so still it's coming in a distant chill with the Past of the ones I wish 
to last Oh, the light like snow I tell secrets of long ago I'm Carol Song plan was to put this Christmas tree on this window, but it's not working as planned. I did mess up the first sticker. I didn't know that it was going to be this sticky. It was so sticky and it kept on sticking on each other. I don't know. And I think it just kind of messed it up. Look, I think you can kind of see it here. This is where I messed it up. I think it's just not going to look as pretty as I thought it would, but that's okay. No. Oh, the light like snow whispers softly on the wind as memories. Just went outside to see what it looks like, and you can see it's so much better. <gasps> That's gonna look so cute. Oh, you can see how I messed up here. That's okay, let's just ignore this. You can see a little Christmas tree. Please ignore the soft books over there. I also added some snowflakes. I can't go too far to the back because it's raining. I don't want to make this camera wet. But yeah, it looks much better from the outside. I think it's gonna look even better when it's light outside tomorrow morning. I'll go inside now because it is raining. Please make sure to grab yourself a cozy cup of coffee or tea. Get your favorite cozy, oh, what was that? Uh-uh, all done, come, bedtime. Good boy. There was something outside that Harvey didn't like. Besides going skiboarding or, oh, skiboarding, oh my God, snowboarding. Oh my gosh, let me just take a little sip of my water. Ah, that's some good water. Holy moly, oh, that was ladylike. Falls alone.